Hey guys, how are we doing? So it is Saturday, the 18th of December. Um, and oh, I've got my last box of goodies that have just arrived. Tani and I will be going out later and I'll be adding that haul onto this video after this unboxing. So there are certain things at this time of the year that just seem to be a thing that we do. There's ingredients that we get because they're things that we are expected to have or we need for specific ingredients for recipes that we're doing. And this box is full of those. <laughs> not okay yeah okay it's full it's not full 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 but it's <laughs> anyway let's get on to it so this is my um buy wholesale online box my last one for this year um well it better be because you know anything else would be like what this is also the first one that i've bought under the amount you need for the special um for the freebie um because the freebie in last week when i ordered this was chocolate almonds or brazils and it really wasn't worth it to me because i can make those myself um and you had to spend like 40 50 quid for it so I, I was not expecting to do that i didn't have that money to spend i had 20 pounds and that was it so what i have got is some cooked and peeled chestnuts there is a dessert that i make with these but i actually there's a very special nut roast that I make with these as well. And I had, didn't make it last year. I didn't make it the year before. But I feel the need to want to make it this year. And I'm going to make, make it in a loaf tin. So I can make slices of it and freeze them so that they're away. But I need chestnuts for that. Um, we have literally used up all our mixed fruit. So I've got um, a kilo of mixed vine fruit so that they're replaced because there are times where you go in the cupboard over this time and go, oh, I need some of those and you just don't got them. So I'm just making sure that we've got some. Right. Oh, what are you doing? Sorry, if something happens all of a sudden, it's because I've got Netflix that I've just put on pause because this has just arrived. So yeah. Okay, um, I've got some medjool dates. I only got 500 grams of those. I don't use them a lot, but there is a caramel kind of thing that I want to try out. That's a vegan caramel sort of thing. So I want to try that. <sighs> now these, I haven't had these in my cupboard for a very, very, very long time. Mostly because I haven't really felt like doing anything and I haven't really felt like making anything, but there is something that I want to make this year that kind of requires it. So I got some, but I made sure that I've got enough for next year as well. So I've got traditional red, natural red glacé cherries. And I've got the mixed coloured ones as well. So we've got green, we've got red, we've got a darker one, and there's a yellow one in there as well. But they're 400 gram pots, and the pots are really good quality, so I can reuse those in the pantry. The other thing I've got, which is something that's actually on my list to grow, <sighs> when we have a garden that I can do it in, is Angelica, Glacé Angelica. And specifically for this reason, um, it's a very old fashioned kind of thing, but it's something that I use to make leaf patterns on the tops of things like trifle, which by the way, I don't eat, but 
tanny I, I can't deal with the texture of trifle it's just like no but tanny eats it he loves it he's asked me to make him one this year i'm going to make him his own trifle so he can sit there with a bowl and a spoon and we can put our feet up and watch whatever we feel like watching at the time that he's eating it which he'll probably be quite happy to do so i've got these so that i can do the little leaf patterns on the top and um we'll go from there so in a little while tanny is going to be home from work and we will be heading out to the supermarket to go and pick up the shopping so i now have to make a list and check it twice and not give her stuff whether it's naughty or nice <laughs> all right i'll see you when you get back hey guys how we doing so we're back we're knackered um well now you've got myself a copper berg so we can get through the unpacking of the shopping because i am at it <laughs> i've been saving this for about three months now so that i could have it when i really wanted it oh. Oop, got it So, all the veg is out there. We bought veg, we bought a little bit of veg. We didn't get, need a lot of veg because we've got veg um, that's already prepped up. We just got a little bit to tide us over for the rest of the, you know, the rest of it. Oh. Oh, ding dong, merrily on high. Right. So, what have I got? I have got strawberry jam and some raspberry jam for trifles and making sponges and things i've also got a cat dodging underneath my feet which is not the greatest thing in the world is it madam right i've also got some light brown sugar and some dark brown sugar because i still have baking to do um I've got milk chocolate, dark chocolate, this 30p a block, I'm not going to complain at 30p a block, the only thing they didn't have was the white chocolate, so we had to get that from the cooking section, Tanny found that, which was awesome, and raspberry jelly for his triple, three of them, okay, right, and of course, obligatory little sprinkly things to make things look sparkly. Right, and I needed some vanilla because I haven't got any of that at the minute. And some red colour. Oh, there it is. And some green colour. And I've got a mulled wine spice pack and also a mulled cider spice pack for the brine for the turkey. Now, if you want to know more about that, you're going to have to check the video up here somewhere. Okay, and I'll put a link to it down below from what I did last year and we will show you that. Olive oil. Um, and this one is the cat dinner. Right. Yeah, if you want to put that out there with the rest of it, you're most welcome, madam. Go in your head. Right. And that's personables. All right. Okay, so what else have we got? Oh, some little festive cupcakey things. Because, you know, um, eggs sweet because Tanny loves his carrot and sweet. Um, two lots of puff pastry, two lots of streaky bacon, um, a whole milk for doing custards and that's to keep me in coffee. 
and Tanny snuck that in as a treat for me because I've been feeling a bit I've moved it now. Right. We got more double cream. Two lots of double cream. Some holly and berry sprinkles. Because you know baking butter. Um some plain flour because I'm actually out of plain flour. I can't believe I'm actually out of plain flour. It's taken me a year and a half to get out of plain flour. What a time to do it. Sausages for the peas and wankity luxury things. And Tanny's stuffed with sandwiches for work the rest of the week. And that, my friends, apart from a bag of potatoes, bag of sweet potatoes, scoop, two carrots, one parsnip, and a partridge in a pear tree is pretty much it. That's our lot. Oh, he's got to go and get some marshmallows. What I've also got to go and do is wrap my sister's Christmas present, get it to the post office this afternoon. So it gets there sometime this week. Would be good. Right, so at some point I will be doing a video this week that shows two of the things I'm making not all of them just two <laughs> and we'll go from there um but please do if you want to see any of the recipes that I did from last year any of the things that we're doing like meats the turkeys the gammon the stuff like that it's exactly the same as I did it last year and I will put a link in the description below to that um playlist or you can go to my channel page and there is a playlist it's the one underneath um uploads it's the top um playlist there I'll also put a link to it up here and you can check out all sorts of fun and games that we did got up to last year so yeah but until then have a good one don't stress yourselves okay it's one day it ain't worth it okay i love you guys heaps i will see you later in the week much love blessings